Hi everyone, PM7 here with a very fast video on a series of Android hacking. Yes, you heard that right. It's going to be a series of uh, learning together and I'm going to try my best to share here what I learn and practice. We'll also share some of the bugs I find in the world. Do share also too in the comment section for the ones you find so that we can improve together. Uh, kindly note this is a beginner channel for mobile app security. If you're an expert, please, uh, I believe you can contribute too by commenting and actually sharing what you think about it. Well, there are many resources out there on internet about web app, app hacking, there is still very little mobile apps and the ones available are kind of advanced. This is the reason I started this channel, to share what I learned from the beginner level. So bear in mind, I'm just like you trying to figure things out. So feel welcome. Unlike web apps, you have to create an environment to start testing on mobile apps. In this series, I'm going to walk you through on how to set up the lab for Android hacking and a brief description of what the tools are doing. Kindly note we'll only be using Kali machines. I'm going to add all the commands and links in the description of this video. So don't strain. The first we're gonna install is Genymotion. It's an Android emulator that allows us to create and interact with Android phones in a virtual environment. Genymotion needs a virtual box, therefore we'll install a virtual box first by running the command sudo apps install virtual box and then type Y when prompted uh, to continue the installation. Next, head over to Genymotion official download page and download the latest binary for Kali Linux. The .bin file will be in the downloads folder. Switch it to that folder, change the permission of the download file into executive by running sudo chmod uh, plus x and then file name. Uh, run the file by starting in the dot slash before the file name to install. Press yes and then enter to give permission for the installation to continue. Uh, next, don't forget to include uh, the Jenny motion in your path so that you can start it from anywhere. Once complete, you'll see Jenny motion here on the screen. Uh, you can also search for it uh, from the applications panel. Uh, that is it for Jenny motion. I'll create a short video later on on how to install virtual Android devices on it. Uh, on this very series which means uh, you need at least to subscribe to follow uh, on the progress the next tool on the line is apk tool this one is easy to install just run sudo apt install apk tool we're going to use this to decompile and compile apks we'll also need to install adb using the sudo apt to install adb android debug bridge in full is going to help communicate with connected android devices as well as applications running in them. Some of the tasks you're going to perform using ADB installing apps and running app components in a connected device. Next is another very handy tool called uh, D2J Dex2Jar or simply Dex2Jar. This is going to help us convert dot, uh, .dex files to dot .class files. Don't worry about uh, the terms. We are going to elaborate about them in the following videos. Uh, when we talk about APK component structure, we can install this tool by running the command sudo apt install dex to jar. After decompiling an APK and converting its dex file to class files, we need a tool to assist us read the source code. Remember all Android APKs are written in Java or Kotlin, which is also compatible with Java. So we need to install a tool to display the Java files in a structured way to assist us do static analysis of an application. Again, don't worry about the analysis part. We're gonna handle um, this in later videos. Again, in the same series uh, of Android hacking. There are two main tools um, that can be used, uh, namely JDGUI and JDX. They're both easy to install. Just run sudo apt install JDGUI and sudo apt install JDX. There's another important tool named MobSF that is very handy in static analysis and dynamic analysis of an Android application. The easiest way to install this tool is by using Docker for starting an analysis only. Um, this means we are going to install Docker first and then the tool. So you can run the following commands in the, in the description uh, to install Docker. sudo apt install dash y docker.io then sudo systemctl enable docker uh, dash dash now. And then uh, you have to, uh, you can type Docker in the command line to confirm if it's successful. Let's now install MobSF by running the command in the description using Docker. Uh, 
we are going to pull it. Um, depending on the installation by Docker, is going to support starting analysis only. Visit the official documentation of Mob SF and follow the instructions for installation in Kali. Uh, mine refused, so I went for Docker. Uh, there is a link in the description below um, uh, that you can follow, and even uh, the official GitHub of MSF, of Mob SF. We'll have more analysis and reverse engineering tools as we progress in this series of videos. Tools such as Frida, Radia2, r to Frida, Objection, and others. It's an end for now. See you in the next video. Bye.